In this video, we're going to install a vault on the fifth generation Toyota RAV4. This locking box or vault is very simple in its design. It's made out of plastic except for the top which has a rubberized textured surface and a metal locking mechanism. It is three combination digits that once you have your code in, you can rotate this to lock it or rotate it the other way to unlock it. The compartment itself is fully plastic. There is a rubber surface liner to provide some grip for the items in here and to reduce the sort of noise that might take place when things shift around. On the bottom are four holes where the bolts would be installed from the inside into the RAV4. The bolts are not provided by this. They are part of your RAV4 inside of the armrest that we have to unbolt and then install this and then reinstall our bolts. The locking mechanism on the lid, again, it just turns like this. And when it's in this position, it will go inside of a slot right here to lock it in place. And on the back are two other holes that function as the hinge for the lid and the compartment to sort of enclose to each other. So we will unbolt this, install this, and then see how it fits. And then what I'm really curious about is if this armrest organizer also fits as well with this thing installed. So if both of these work together, we have a very nice system. If they don't, you'll have to decide which one you want more. The accessory does come with a wrench to remove the bolts inside of your armrest. It also comes with like a SIM card removal tool so that you can reset the, the three digit combination pin on your lock. This is what the wrench looks like. Very simple in its design. And then here's your SIM removal tool. I don't know if that's in focus, but this is what you'll use to kind of reset the pin on the lock. Instructions are also provided with how to install this into the RAV4 and how to change your pin. The default pin is 000. Installed on our lock is a rubber o-ring which functions to provide better grip to hold the lock and rotate. I don't have any trouble rotating this because there's a lot of etching on this to help grip it. So this is sort of like an added bonus that's included. The listing on Amazon gives you the dimensions of the overall box, which doesn't add a lot of value because we want to know the internal dimensions that's actually usable. So I estimated it based on my measurements here. It's about two and three quarters deep with the lid on, six and three quarters long, and four and one quarter wide. Inside of our armrest are four bolts that we will remove with the provided wrench. This simply goes on here and then we rotate it out. This is the bolt that is removed and you will quickly learn that this accessory is sort of cumbersome to use. So if you have a 10 millimeter straight screwdriver like this, it will help a lot in removing the bolts from your armrest. After you remove all four bolts, we're going to place this inside and then reinstall the bolts through the compartment. You want to make sure that the lock, locking slot is in the front and the hinges are in the back. When you place the compartment inside of the armrest, it looks like the bolt holes don't align with the holes of the compartment. But you can shift the entire armrest like it's quite flexible once you remove those four bolts to make sure that the holes do realign. So you can see right now, I'm applying some pressure to the backside, which is allowing the bolt holes to align. And then once you have some alignment, you'll just drop in your screws inside of these holes to relock it in place. So I'm probably gonna need two hands, one to screw it on, and then one to hold the whole armrest centerpiece in place. We have all four bolts installed. We'll go ahead and put the surface liner inside of the compartment, which is now part of the RAV4. And then we'll take our lid 
install it from the hinge and that is now nice and secure and not removable unless somebody drills inside of here again this is all plastic so it's not the highest level of security but it is at least a deterrent if you are using this and you don't need the sort of locking mechanism you could use it without the lid so it's more or less what comes with the RAV4 just an open box and then you can reinstall your armrest organizer or you can install it with the lock and then the armrest organizer fits on top as well no problems no additional gaps and it all closes so I think this is a very nice add-on to the RAV4 if you have any reason to hide any sort of valuables which you really shouldn't do in a car and then your armrest organizer also fits really well to change the combination from the default 000 to anything you want you'll want to take the sim card removal tool which was included put it in the lock position so the latch facing in this direction let's say and then you'll take this and depress and press it inside of this opening while it is in the correct unlocking combination you will feel it go inside and then you can rotate it in one direction to the combination you want so I'll do 500 then I will depress it and that will be the new combination that I can lock and unlock with and then if I go change this to anything else or to the default 000 it won't work until I go back to the original 500 and then it works that is everything you need to know about this vault specifically designed for the fifth generation Toyota RAV4 this vault is perfectly designed to fit inside of our armrest it complements the vehicle really well and I really like that the armrest organizer that I use a lot also fits on top without it bulging out if you do have a reason to store valuables inside of your RAV4 I highly recommend this accessory it is made out of plastic and can probably be destroyed by one small swing of a hammer, but at least it will function as a minor deterrent for the usual theft.